Welcome to the tutorial where we're going to talk about multiple materials for Gary's Mod props. This video, listen carefully, because I've had a lot of people message me on the last one. I don't do player models, that's extremely advanced. Nobody has any good tutorials, so I don't even know how to do it myself. If I did, I would make tutorials on the following things. Player models, uh, UV mapping, and things like that. UV mapping is when you're uh, correctly mapping the textures to where you want them to be on the model, you know, on the different polygons of the model. I don't know how to do that either. I don't understand it. Um, this is just... Uh, I also don't know how to port things, so I can't help you port things from different games, okay? I can't help you with that. I wish I knew how to. I would love to make a good tutorial to showcase that stuff. Um, anyway, this uh, tutorial is just showing you, and it's assuming you, uh, that you've watched the previous video, so I'm not going to show how to set up Blender source you know, tools or anything like that, or Blender. We are just going to do the export and I'll talk about the multiple materials portion okay just want to get that out of the way so there's no confusion because nobody likes to read goddamn fucking descriptions okay I've got the links for everything in the description just like I did with the last videos okay um, just read pay attention it's programming it's not like everything else you've done with your life it's not gonna handhold you you have to follow the directions it's gotta be properly uppercase and lowercase okay it matters okay alright let's get to it so, first things first, we're going to scale the cube up to say 20x just so it looks uh, decently big in Gary's Mod just because the units of Blender are not big. We're going to go to the uh, Shading tab. And we are going to uh, name this cube, all lower cases, and we're going to drag this out into the scene collection. This is something new you have to do with the newer version of Blender. Things have changed since the last uh, uh, video. so. Um, it has to be outside collection. And you're going to go to the material portion here. We're going to select material and delete it. We're going to go to new. Name it material 1, all lower cases. And I'm going to do plus again. New material 2. And this is where we're going to go into what's called edit mode. So moving your mouse in here, pressing tab, you'll see it switches from object to edit mode. Okay. Press 3 to change to face selection mode, meaning you're selecting each face. By default, if you don't press 3, you're just going to be selecting vertices, and that's no good. So press 3, face selection mode. We're going to make this face um, material 1. Okay. So material 1, we've got that selected. We're going to click assign. So we're assigning that selection to that material. Now we press A to select all, and then hold shift and left click that face that we selected to deselect that face. Now go to Material 2 and Assign. Next, we're going to come over here to Material 1. And I've already made my materials, so I made... Uh, and the name of this uh, JPEG does not matter, okay? This is just for viewing in Blender. It's not going to matter. So we're going to drag this because this is... I've indicated it as Side 1. And we're going to drag Color to Base Color. And you're going to see that populate on there. Easy peasy. Now, what do you think is next? Select Material 2, drag the other image in. Do the same thing. Sometimes it doesn't want to drag over. There we go. So color to base color. And there we go. Different colored, two different materials on one prop. Ta-da! All done. Now we go export it. Source engine export. Export again. If you don't have this set up, go watch the previous video. You're welcome. So export cube.smd. If you didn't do what I said there, it's going to say collection. Now that's not good. Drag cube out of the collection into scene collection, so it's in its own separate thing. I will repeat it just that once. Export cube SMD. New file gets made. Open up the cube.qc file. Now, if you don't have something like a Notepad++, you know, a text editor, you're going to right click. Um, I'm on Windows 11. You're going to do open with, and then just regular Notepad is fine too. I will go over this a little bit just so you ex uh, can have this explained to you. So model name is what it's going to pop up with, what you'll search for in Gary's Mod. Um, this has no relation to anything else. Um, body1 is cube.smd, that is the file that we just exported. And then CD materials, this is what throws people off a lot in the previous videos. So this is, what you're not seeing is it's saying uh, Gary's Mod slash materials beforehand, so navigate to your Gary's Mod materials folder and create a new folder called cube. Okay, this 
points to the folder, not to the actual VMT file itself, okay? This is the folder containing the VMT file, or files in this case. Sequence.idle, or uh, idle is uh, still cube.smd, we're not doing animations, this is just a static prop. Collision model, this is its, well, collision model. How does it interact with the world? Obviously it's a cube, it's gonna be the same interaction, whatever. That's more advanced stuff, we're not getting into that, this is just for materials. Okay, let's create the materials. So, I have provided you with material1.vmt. Notice, it's all lower cases because this VMT file name matches the material name, go figure, okay? All right, so we're going to right click, edit with Notepad++ in my case. Um, you can just use this basic template and all you really gotta change is the path, okay? So again, Gary's Mod, Materials, Cube, the folder that we made, and then the name of the VMT, or sorry, the VTF file that this points to. I will say that again, this is a VMT file we are editing this VMT file to point to a VTF file, Valve Texture File, okay? We will make that here in just a minute. That's what this program down here is for. This is just so you know. This is pointing directly to the VTF file. Notice I don't have period, dot v, you know, period VTF at the end. You don't have to. You can put it in, it'll be fine. But this is assuming that this file is the VTF file. Easy peasy. Same thing with this one. It's not material one, it's material two, okay? So now we got VTF uh, edit open. We're simply going to go to file, import. And I'm going to import, in my case, uh, cube side one. I should have named this material one so it's not confusing to people because I know this is gonna fucking throw people off because you're stupid. <sighs> this is material one. So we're gonna select material one, okay? It's gonna load it. All defaults, don't have to change anything. Click okay. Go to File, Save As. Um, I'm saving it in the folder here because we're just going to move it all as one just so I have the project file separated, okay? We're calling it uh, material1.vtf. So there's, uh, there's our VTF file. We're going to do the same for the second material. So File, Import. And notice it changes it from uh, material1.vtf to untitled, so you can just do Control. Uh, you could just do control s to save because it's untitled it's not a thing but anyway we're saving this one as material 2.vtf and boom we have our texture files so select all four of those and put those in that cube folder in the materials folder that we made so i'll go back again we're in gary's mod materials cube because cd materials cube and we're putting the materials in there Okay, now comes the fun part, crowbar. Um, I'm not gonna show how to set up the game. I show how to do that in the previous video. Um, in my case, I don't have you know, uh, Gary's Mod on my C drive, which is the boot drive for Windows. I have it on an external drive, okay? So my path here is different. But go to the Compile tab, make sure Gary's Mod is selected or whatever you called it when you set up the game, and simply go to Browse for this QC input. So we're browsing for that QC file, which is this, which is this, and click compile. And you're good to go. You don't have to do anything else because by default, you're exporting to the game's models folder, which you can see here. So if we want to verify that it's there, we go to Gary's mod, models, and there. Now notice it's not in a cube folder inside there because, what did I say at the beginning here? Model name, cube.mdl. We didn't put it in a folder called cube, it's just in the, the models folder. Don't get that confused with the material stuff. We should be ready to go. So let's go ahead and open up Gary's mod. Ready, hopefully now it's recording. Um, here's the cube. So go ahead and search cube. Yep, collision mesh works, good to go. So, if you don't have textures, if it's pink and black, you messed up with the programming. So, yeah, go back and watch the first video, or go rewatch this one. Slower, like, slower, okay. Maybe at like 0.25% speed or something. 
so or 2x speed but yeah all right hopefully you guys enjoy the tutorial um this one's a bit longer i kind of wanted it to be quick but at the same time still explain stuff if you guys want me to make a fast version of everything where i don't really talk a whole lot i can certainly do that because i could probably do this in like a minute minute and a half <laughs> so all righty